hi guys you're welcome to the channel today today's tutorial is on how to make this breast tube of shoulder top with pleats and it has a detachable balloon sleeve now if you want to see how i made this please keep on watching let me take you back to a time when, time when love so guys for this tutorial i'll be needing african print fabric and i have about two and a half yard here and one yard of lining so now i've already gone ahead to draft out my basic bodies for my pattern as you can see i went ahead to draft out all the lines that i'll be needing now if you've been following the channel you should know how to get all of these lines but on the description box i'll be listing down all of the measurements that i use to get this top as you can see i already labeled the lines on my pattern my shoulder line my arm side bust point on the bust and then my waist so what i'm going to do first is extend my arm side line to the center of my body just as you see me doing and then i'll go ahead to take my nipple to nipple measurements starting from my bust point to my waistline now the nipple to nipple measurement i'll be using for this is 7.5 which is my actual nipple to nipple measurement so i'll divide 7.5 into two and then i'll be taking that from my bust point i'll mark that through to my waistline so after connecting the points i'll take my tape to my shoulder line and i'll divide what i have on my shoulder line into two and then i'll mark a point there then from that point i'll be connecting using my straight ruler to my bust point as you can see So now after getting this point, I'll go ahead to draft out my boost here. On my under bust at the center front, I'll take half an inch, as you can see, and then I'll also go ahead to mark that half an inch on the waistline, still on the center front. So I'll go ahead to connect that using my straight ruler. And now on the side part, I'll be taking 1.5 inch. Now my bust measurement is around 38 39 but if you're on the bigger side you should use two inches on that side part now i took 1.5 inch on my under bust and on the waistline at the side front so i'll go ahead to connect that the same way i did for the center front so now i'll be connecting from my bust point to those both lines i marked on the under bust using my curve driller as shown So then I'll go ahead to mark my off shoulder line, which is my chest line where my top is going to be starting from. So I'll be making use of 1.5 inches, but I later increased it because I noticed 1.5 inches was too small for me. So I made mine 2 inches. You can see in the course of the video, I drew another line again. So when you're making your, just go ahead to measure whatever best suits you, how open you want your dress to be you can go ahead to measure that so then i later on went up by two inches like i said before so guys as you can see i went to here to label that new line my chest line so the next thing i'm going to do is take my dots for that chest line now on the center front i went ahead to major half an inch now i came out by half an inch on the center front of the chest line just as you can see and then after getting that point on the side parts of the chest line i will be taking 0 0.75 so on the center front i took half an inch on the side part i took 0 0.75 now like i've said before any measurements that you see me taking on this bust here area if you're on a bigger side you should increase yours like i took half an inch on the center front if you're on the bigger side you can take 0 0.75 on the other side one inch so on the chest line i'll place my ammo curve like so and then connect straight down to my arm o to give it a curve and then for the center front i will be leaving it straight just like the style that i'm working with but if you want to be creative you can make your sweetheart neckline or give it any style of your choice so the next thing i'm going to do now is imputing my body measurements so i've gone ahead to mark my 
quarter of my bust measurement which is 9.75 and then i'll be replacing the dart on the chest line to the side of my body measurement so i'll go ahead to mark that clear so you can see to cut off my bust measurement and then replace the dart on the chest line now on the waistline i'll go ahead to mark quarter of my waist measurement which is eight inches and then i'll replace that dart on the waistline which is two inches to the side part So I'll go ahead to connect all the lines before cutting and then I will label the patterns center front and side front. So now I'll go ahead to cut and remove the dart from the bustier pattern. So now go ahead to cut the back pattern to cut out the back pattern i will not be drafting my pattern to save me stress i will go ahead to place the bustier part of this pattern together just as you can see but make sure that the line from the underboss to the waist are not on top of each other they should just be closely together so i'll place the cup part on top of each other and i'll go ahead to secure the underboss to the waist with my tip So I brought out a fresh pattern paper and I've gone ahead to roll out 2 inches for my zipper allowance. Now I will bring out my front pattern and place it on top of the pattern paper. And then it's going to be after the zipper allowance. So I'll go ahead to pin that front pattern on the pattern paper as you can see to sketch out my back pattern. Now this technique is going to save you a lot of stress of drafting a fresh back bodies on your pattern paper or wasting pattern paper you can even go ahead to place this directly on your fabric and you can sketch out your back pattern on your fabric so what i'm going ahead to do is trace out the lines of the front pattern to the back i traced out the length and then the side part then i stopped at the arm side as you can see and then i'll go ahead to remove the front pattern paper from the back so what I'm going to do is use my curve driller to just draw a style line there for the back. You can go ahead to make your straight. So you just need to draw it straight from your arm side to your center back. But I just wanted to have a little bit of curve. So this is it for the back pattern. If you want to add your darts, you can just draw out your darts. But I'll just go ahead to explain if you want to draw your darts. But I'm not using that for mine. So basically to do your darts is your nipple to nipple divided by 2. And that's it. So as you can see i've drawn out my dart line now you can choose to cut the back pattern into two to have two panels but i'm just going to save myself the stress of doing that so i'll just go ahead and cut my back as a whole piece like one panel so i'll go ahead to separate the two panels for the front pattern i will just cut out the tape from it because if i try to remove the cellar tape it's going to destroy the pattern paper but if you're using a paper tape then you can just easily take it out so this is how it's going to be now i'll go ahead to place this on my fabric and cut adding sewing allowance so i have my front panel and then my back panel so i'll go ahead to cut my patterns on my fabric as you can see the particular type of fabric i'm using has up and down like it has several patterns and if i go ahead to place my pattern in a wrong way on my fabric i'll make a mistake like if i'm placing it like so it will end up being a mistake so i have to follow the patterns of the fabric to cut out my patterns now this is not really part of the tutorial but i'm just talking about it because these are my fabric keys and i just wanted to shed more light on it for anybody that's interested in getting to know that so I'll go ahead to add 0.5 inch on the top of the patterns and also on the bottom part. And then I'll add half inch on the seam of the side front and then also on the center front as well. But for the side part, I'll go ahead to add my sewing allowance of about 1 inch because I did not add sewing allowance when cutting the pattern. So remember to add sewing allowance when you're cutting on your fabric. So guys as you can see i've gone ahead to cut out my patterns on my fabric and then i also cut my lining as well so i'll go ahead to take out the patterns from the fabric and show you how i stitch the bustier part
so i'll be taking out the lining as well and i'll keep it outside so i'll go ahead to stitch on the fabric now whatever i do for the fabric i'll be doing the same thing for my lining so i may not be showing you the lining patterns so now i went ahead to iron interfacing on my fabric on the front part and also for the back so what i'm going to do next is cut chest wording that's called a wording i'll be cutting it for the bustier part now this is if you're not going to be using a bra cup this is another substitute for bra cup so i'll be cutting on my pattern to show you how to cut on my fabric so my center front i just cut out the under bust and then for the side front i'll measure about four inches i'll go in by four inches and then i'll mark and then i'll just connect that to my under bust using the curve so you can either measure four inches or just measure a quarter of your nipple to nipple measurement then add one inch to it then you just connect it to your under bust and also to your arm side so you go ahead to cut out the curve so this pattern that i've cut now i'll go ahead to place it on my chest wording and in our hat so in allowance of about 0 0.5 inch to the two arrows to the two points that are meeting together so guys i've gone ahead to iron the chest toward into the bust area so i'll go ahead to join my pieces together as shown i'll be joining with half an inch from the waistline to the under bust and then to the bust area then when i get to the chest line i will join with about quarter of an inch which is 0 0.75 or one inch so guys as you can see i joined the top part with 0 0.75 and the other sides with half an inch now the reason why i did that is because there is not going to be any yoke that is going to hold the upper part and since this is a cheap top you want it to be snatched on the top of your chest line area so that's the reason why i did that i did that for the main fabric and also for the lining so now i'm going to open up the seams to iron as you can see i will lay down flat the under bust to the waist and iron it open and then when i go to the bust area i'll be using a breast ball to iron opening the curved parts of the bust so after going ahead to iron open the seams i want to lay down interfacing to close down the sides as you can see if you don't want to do this you can just trim off the allowance but i just want to use my interfacing to hold down the side seams of the breast tube so guys the way i iron the fabric i also went ahead to iron the lining same way so the next thing i'm going to do is shape the sides of this top so i place the back pattern to the sides of the front and i'll be joining with a sewing allowance of 1.5 inch so at this point if you're fixing that to the back of your dress then you should go ahead to fix the dart before you join this but like i said before when i was cutting i'm not going to be fixing that to my back part so you should know that while sewing on my fabric i'll also be taking the same process on my lining sewing my lining with 1.5 inches on the side part as well so i've already gone ahead to join the sides of my top now for the upper part i went ahead to join with two inches by the waistline i joined with 1.5 inches and that's because i want to make the upper part to be tight because it's a tube top so i want to trim out the excess allowance because i don't need it anymore so the next thing i'm going to do is turn the chest line area which is the neck i'll go ahead to turn with my lining so i'll get the mid part of the lining and then the mid part of the top as you can see i've notched out the mid part of the top already so then i'll place my lining front side facing front side of the fabric and then stitch with half an inch to the end part making sure that all of the joining on the fabric align together with the lining so guys i've gone ahead to sew the chest line area 
and then while i was sewing i was sewing along with my fet so that it will help me keep the lining and the fabric on hold when i'm ironing it and then i top stitch the lining down because this is going to help me keep my lining in place so now go ahead to turn the lining to the inside and give it a good press So now go ahead to join the zipper allowance part the lining and the fabric i'll be turning it with half an inch so guys this is how my bestia top looks after i was done this is the front and this is the back part so the next thing i'm going to do is measure what i have on the waistline from one end of the zipper allowance to the other hand to know how to cut my pleats So what I have on my waistline is 33 inches and then I cut my pleats with 33 inches multiplied by 3. And for the length, I measured what I have on my bustier top already. I have 18 inches plus half inch joining allowance and then I want the top to be 24 inches long. So meaning I'm going to add 6 inches for my pleats, 6 inches for the length of my pleats and the wideness is 33 inches multiplied by 3 so for the length again i have eight inches which is six inches for the main length i need plus two inches for folding and joining so i'll take it over to my sewing machine and draw gathers on one side and it should be the exact amount of the waist which is 33 inches after i'm done And so this is my pleat. I went ahead to fold the bottom part first before stitching down the gathers. So in total, I have 33 inches wide. Now I'll just go ahead to iron the pleats to make it straight. Let me take you back to a time when, time when love was as precious as diamonds. Where if you search, you would find it. so guys the next thing i'm going to do is fold my pleats together and notch the mid part and then after getting the mid part of this pleat i'll also notch the mid part of my waistline so i'll go ahead to place my pleats front side facing front side of the fabric and then join with half an inch on the waistline so after joining this is what i have now just go ahead to fold the side of you can fold the side or you can leave it like so because you'll be adding zipper to the back part so i've gone ahead to fix my zipper for the back and based on the fact that the top is a very short top so i have a very long zipper so i just want to go ahead to show you how i close down my zipper so i'll cut out the excess of the zipper and then i will fold inward to the side parts to the zipper allowance and then top stitch it at the front and so this is my top i'm done with the top part so you can see how the bust area looks if you want to have a fuller bust you can add bra up to it so for each of the detachable sleeve i've gone ahead to cut out my fabric and i have about 35 inches wide i have 35 inches wideness then 15 inches of the length of the sleeve if you want to have a more fuller detachable sleeve you can increase the wideness and also the length but this is what i'm working with for mine so now I'll go ahead to fold the top and the bottom inward into two enough for my elastic to pass so i'm making use of this tiny elastic so you need to make sure that your elastic can pass through your fold effortlessly 
so after folding the part for my elastic to pass i went ahead to cut about 10 inches for my elastic wideness for the upper part with one inch so making it 11 inches so i'm using 11 inches for the upper part because i want i want it to be wide enough to cross over my shoulder and then for the sleeve length for the round sleeve i'm making use of eight inches plus one inch for joining so the upper part is 11 inches and the down part is nine inches so i've gone ahead to insert my elastic to the up and the bottom of the fabric and then i will go ahead to join with half an inch i'll join the sides with half an inch so now at this point i'm done making the detachable sleeve so we've come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed making this dress with me and i hope you find this video helpful if you do find it helpful please let me know in the comment section and please do well to subscribe to the channel if you're yet to subscribe thank you guys for watching see you next time with another amazing tutorial